All right, welcome to Outdooraholic. My name is Nathan. This is episode two of the Fat Boy build. This is my newly acquired 2008 Harley Davidson Fat Boy. I bought it a couple days ago. So I just added this bike to my insurance policy. I'm on my way now to get it inspected and then off to get it registered and get the title transferred. Make it all official. I spent the past two days polishing chrome and removing corrosion. There was a lot of corrosion on both of the wheels. If you saw in episode one and some surface rust on the engine guards and a little bit on the chrome in the front on the upper forks. There's still some corrosion on the lowers that's in the coating. So I may go ahead and sand that down or I may just wait and, until I get some chrome lowers. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I'll show you guys a little bit of the work I did over the past two days getting this thing pretty and man, it, it sure is. The chrome really came alive. It looks brand new. The wheels look better, but they're that oxidization on those solid fat boy wheels. You can still see it a little bit, but it looks a hundred times better. Um, I haven't decided if I want to take it all the way down and start sanding and then building it back up or or just leave it with what I have. But anyway, check out the the footage of all the work that went into all the elbow grease to make this thing all nice and shiny. step done I passed the inspection now I'm off to the county tax office to pay sales tax and get it registered get that license plate make it official no more riding dirty I mean I've only had it two days but still it'd be nice to have that taken care of I don't know about you guys when it comes to getting vehicles registered buying used motorcycles and cars but it's always a pain in the butt they always find something to make an issue about on the title or whatever so I I've learned my lesson to make sure I double check triple check everything but I'm always relieved once it's done once everything's finalized and I get my license plate so anyway make a quick trip over to the county tax office and I'll update you guys once once I'm done there hopefully it's good news All right, that's another hurdle completed. Registration went through, got the license plate. All right guys, so next part of the project, I really wanna do chrome lowers, but it's gonna to have to wait with the budget. There's other things that are taking priority, but I think that these lowers are pretty much the worst looking thing on the bike right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know, take off that coating and polish it the best I can by hand, which is what I did with my Road King. And it turned out pretty good. It's not great. I'd still prefer chrome, but it's not bad. Way better than this, all this corrosion right here. So first thing I did, got the bike up on the jack. I had to use a little ramp here. And this is the factory height. So once I lower it, it's definitely going to need a ramp to even get the jack under it. But anyway, I'm going to first thing, take off the fender. So I also went ahead and took the 
front tire off. You can see I already started doing some sanding here, just getting down to the bare metal. That already looks way better than all the corrosion here. The easy part is getting down to the bare metal, and then the hard part is shining it back up, working your way back up till it's nice and polished. But it's gonna look way better than what it did, and it's not gonna cost me any money. So I'm gonna start on this one. First thing is to remove this uh, reflector. Just taking a paint scraper back behind. This adhesive is very strong. It's like a tar-like substance. But if you just work at it, it'll come off. All right, that's off. And then Cindy just gotta get that glue off. Then I'm gonna take the sander. And you can see the difference. This right here is the bare metal. You can see this right here is the bare metal versus the coating with all the corrosion in it. So we're just gonna keep doing this haul until we get all the coating off, and then we'll go straight to the polish. Blue Magic Metal Polish. And I've got this uh, polishing attachment on my drill. Just gonna put some of this on here. And start polishing. And man, that turned out really, really good. So, for a couple hours of work, no money. If you already have a sander and a drill, sand it with a 220 grit, polish it with Blue Metal, Blue Magic Metal Polish, and boom. And I'm sure if you kept going with the polisher, you could get that more of a mirror shine, but I'm happy with that. Also, local Harley-Davidson dealership, Barnett Harley-Davidson, had the factory uh, tires in stock. So I ordered both of those, and I'll pick those up tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, I'll get the new wheel mounted on there, which is great. So I'll get it all put back together with the new wheel. I want to take it off again. And man, really happy with how that turned out. Looks so much better. This is how I had it just kind of shined up with the steel wool, getting rid of some of that corrosion. And then this is just hitting it with the polisher, that blue magic metal polish on the drill. You can see the where I stopped right there. All right guys, I'm here at Barnett Harley-Davidson in El Paso, Texas. Just picked up these new tires, the factory Dunlops, D408, 140, 75, 17 for the front and D407 and 255.17 for the rear. All right, some of y'all be wondering, hey, you were just at Barnett's, don't they uh, mount tires there while you're at Cycle Gear now? And the reason is for Barnett's, if I bring in the wheel and have the tire mounted, it's $50. Um, but here at Cycle Gear, it's only 25. And after buying the bike, and tires and seats and paying tax and registration and all that stuff budget stretched a little thin so if i could save 25 dollars a tire i'm gonna do it so anyway we're here at cycle gear gonna drop this off have the front tire mounted on right now and then we'll take it back get it put on the bike hopefully tonight all right so while they're working on the front tire at cycle gear i'm gonna start taking this back tire off all right All right, guys, on the other side, I removed the chrome guard on the top and then the plastic rock guards for the belt on the bottom. Now, on the axle, I know in some soft tails, it is a uh, 15 sixteenths. The axle nut on this side is a 36 millimeter. It's a big sucker. It's broken loose. Not rocking it too much. That thing is on there. When all else fails, get a big pipe and cough her back up. And I'm gonna pick the bike up off of. There it goes. There it goes. 
All right, so again, 36 millimeter on a breaker bar with about a four foot pipe. I was able to break that axle nut loose. And then I'll just lift up on the tire of my foot to relieve the tension on the axle and then work it out. All right, and there it is. All right, perfect. So I'll run this one over to Psycho Gear and uh, have them put the rear tire on as well. Both tires mounted, balanced. What a mess. <laughs> That's all right, I'll be back to being a whole bike here shortly. I can't wait. I got the axle back on, the wheel on, the belt on. The axle shaft is a lubricate with anti-seize. Gonna put this big sucker back on. So over the past week, I really took this bike from kind of a diamond in the rough. Had low miles, one owner, but had been sitting for a long time and needed some TLC into a bike that's ready to be ridden. Brand new Harley Davidson Dunlop tire. No more corrosion on the wheels and fork lowers. No more rust on the engine guards. Polished up chrome. Another brand new tire. So all that's left is take this thing for a ride. For the Fat Boys Maiden Voyage, I took it to the El Paso Hog Chapters monthly meeting. We had a good turnout, including two other Fat Boys. It was a really nice day, and afterwards we went for a ride out to historic Masilla, New Mexico. It's a really cool route along the back roads through some pecan orchards, which is really green and something you don't get to see too often in the desert around El Paso, Texas. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and the progress that was made on the bike. I have a lot more plans and we'll be making a lot of modifications to the bike coming up. So if you guys liked it, please hit that like button. And if you want to see the rest of the progress on the Fat Boy build, please subscribe and join us for the next video.